If you don't already have the Java 7 Developers Kit installed on your computer, you should install it now if you want to work through the exercise files in this course. Go to the URL oracle.com slash java. That will redirect you to a web page where you can click a link to download Java for developers. From this page, scroll down and locate the Java section and click on Java SE for Standard Edition. Notice the notation that this download includes the Java FX installation. I'll talk about that a little later. On this page, click the download link, scroll down to the Development Kit section, and accept the license agreement. Now you're able to download the correct version of Java for your computer. On Windows, choose either the Windows x86 download for 32-bit windows or Windows x64 for 64-bit windows. If you're not sure which version of Windows you're running, check the Control Panel System page. I'll be using this version for 64-bit windows. I've already downloaded it to my desktop and opened it up. You'll notice that the installer requires administrative access. You must be logged in as an administrator. Now just follow the prompts and accept all of the defaults. Once the installation is complete, make sure you've updated your system path. I described how to do that in Java Essential Training. You'll add the bin folder from your Java installation folder to your system path so you can easily run commands like Java and Java C from the command line. Once the installer is done and you've taken care of that housekeeping task, you're ready to install Eclipse and work through the exercise files in this course.